everyone welcome back to my channel um now i've come on this one to do my um art journal page i don't know what i'm doing i haven't really given it a lot of thought the prompt is um watercolor i th thought i could do doodling and watercolor and yeah i know but then I've, I've, i'm gonna try and make a background now this is my stamping block i would say it's an old one that i don't use but it is one that i use and it's it is quite manky looking i'm not going to worry about it I've got a candle, an old bit of candle wax here, and I'm going to put some wax on the back surface. Hopefully it should be easy enough to remove as well. If not, I'll be buying myself a new one. All right, so my idea is, because I like the techniques that you can get when you put um, drops of, um, you know, when you pick, pick up watercolour or um, things from like distress oxides and things like that but i'm just going to use direct from my um watercolor palette if i've got a brush and i'm just going to put it onto here and see what happens it's wax it should repel and so um oh, i'm just going to just use a bit of let's go with the green right, i'm just going straight from the color onto here and I'm hoping that and I'm only going to put one colour on at a time I think because it repels it it will have little will have more sort of spottiness that is kind of the thing I was hoping to be able to achieve cool all right that will do for that let's have a let's get Let's treat ourselves to a fresh baby wipe. There we go. Hopefully that doesn't rub off the... don't know. Not sure if that will rub off. It shouldn't do, should it? The wax. I don't want to have to do it between each go. Perhaps I should have just done something like that. Right, let's go for a different colour on that then. What could we go for? Maybe... This is a kind of a yellow. Is that still still a bit not perfect, but let's see what happens with that. It's fine if some of them like smoosh into each other. Just thought I fancied doing a background a bit differently. Right, what I might do is give that another another waxing. that's a better way of doing it I can actually see the wax on there now All right let's have a darker green let's go for something like that perhaps not too much of that one Oh, God, that works. Right, now I think I won't use the baby wipe. I think I'll just kind of pat that off. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Right, let's have a bit of that. Don't want to put too much of that on. Sort of a dark blue, she says. Maybe I should be drying between layers as well a bit. That looked a bit wet, that paint, didn't it? Hmm. That's pretty cool. Right, let me, I think I'm going to not use that. Let's just use that. Oh, I can see there is quite a bit of that colour still on there, never mind. Let me dry that and decide if I'm going to add anything. Right, where's my brush? I've got a metallic green here. 
which I don't know what that, whether or not that would work or whether or not we'd even see it because it's quite pale. Let's see. I don't think we'll see it. But let's just have a look and see. Well, no is the answer to that. I don't think we can see that. But I do like that green, so I'm going to go in with a bit more of that instead. Probably ought to stop before I overdo it. So I'm, what I'm going to do is have a little play because I've cut myself another piece of um, another piece of paper the same size that I could use if I wanted a different colour background because I don't really know what I'm doing yet and I've also got some ATC so I'm just going to have a little play and then I'll show you um, well we'll carry on with whichever I decide to use as my background right so this is dried hopefully you can see that now I made two ATCs in a similar vein which I'm going to use later. And this one I did in, as I hope you can see, rainbow colours. Um, but I think I was going to use that, but I think I'm going to save that for something else. Uh, this cleaned off, I, I was struggling to clean it off, but I used um, like a credit card and just um, scraped it and it scraped off easily. So yeah, I'm not going to be precious about that anyway. Um, so I don't know what to do with this. I have some ideas I've got a mermaid here who doesn't fit on it like that but she could kind of fit on it like that I thought maybe I'd pop her on there but I don't know if I to put anything else on or just leave it and not worry too much about it I think I'm going to do that so what I will do is she says looking for I've got a whole thing full of cardboard here this will do Just going to cut around her so that she stands up a little bit. So I'll draw around her and then cut around within that shape somewhere. I think I'll go to watercolour. I suppose we ought to give her a name. She's got a crown, so she's a queen or a princess. Um, I don't know. Let's have a think. Right, where are my scissors? There they are. Let's get rid of that bit. Right, I'm going to just cut really inside here because I don't want to see it at all. I just wanted to give it a little bit of a pop-up off the page and a little bit of stability. So I'm not really I'm not going to do much at all something like that for that to do uh, that should go something like that that will do I'll pop that on in a minute that will just pop her up off the page a little Right, so let's give her a little, a little colour. Where's my brush? That will do. Um, now this this is not really a colour. It's just, um, and in fact, it's not a watercolour card either. So I should kind of be careful and not overload this. Uh, that's just some kind of mess that I left on my palette, but it, I thought, oh, that little, that'll do. In fact, probably. She could have. I do. I'm, I went through a stage of leaving my palette dirty and just not dirty, but painty, and coming back to it, and then I went through a stage of cleaning it up all the time. Um. And now tend to clean it up so 
I'd give her a little bit of a pinky blush but quite hard my water is green and not very pleasant looking right I think I will try and use that watercolor that was um, sparkly supposedly metallic lime green for some of this and I will use a different green and I'm deliberately doing it loosely and leaving blanks as well because I prefer it like that um, we could have a bluey bikini top I suppose there could be coconut shells I don't know bit of blue here as well bit of shimmer try to pick similar colors um, to what we've got going on here I don't really want anything to oops got caught up in my wire a yellow crown but I'm actually thinking I could have given her a gold one I think I don't think I will stick to stick to the color palette Steph that's not that's that's what I'm doing that's it I think although I might do that and A bit of, oh gosh, give a bit of a green eye, she says, and then we don't need that bit there. Well, wow, she's got there. We go, that will do. Stop fiddling with it. All right, I'm going to dry that, stick that on, and then we'll pop her on the page. Now, I kind of want to frame this and go around the outside, but and I would usually go to my distress inks or oxide and there's nothing wrong with that but I'm thinking also wondering well actually I'm also going to do two things this is a metallic blue paint I'm just going to activate that they take a little while to get going get the mica going through it but I wonder if I can put some splashes on there They're very fine. I don't know whether you'll be able to see them on the camera, but they are going on. But that wasn't what I was going to do. I was going to go around the outside with some watercolour, but I'm worried that I'm going to ruin it. So maybe I will just, I'm just trying to stick to watercolour. Right, let's see. I have to be careful because it is not watercolour paper but I'm, I'm just putting a little bit around the outside like this I've done it in green but what I'm hoping is I can, oops wrong thing as well just to don't ask me what I'm doing I haven't got a clue I just don't want I wanted to kind of stick with the watercolour I'll just give it a bit of a distressed framed kind of look right that will do now where is Miss Mermaid stick her there I haven't thought of a name yet. She looks more like a princess than a queen though, doesn't she? 
Let's put some glue on her, pop her on. I think I'm going to, I wanted the blue up there. I could do that, I think. Pop her there. And you can see she's not really sort of proud of the page too much, but just enough. Now I did find, oops, before I dropped them all on the floor, um, something to put on there. And I can't remember what it was. I found it, I'm finding a, um, something to say, a word, but, uh, Oh, let's go with that. I'm going to do it if it will fit on there. I don't know if it will. Follow your soul. It knows the way. Um, do I want... No, I'm not propping that up. I'm just going to stick that on there. Might go round it with a pen. There we go. Make sure she's stuck down. Right, that will do for that. And finishing touches. Um, I think I'm going to use this one. Nouveau Drops. This one is Jewel Drops Sea Breeze. And they're slightly blue. I've got some clear ones, but I'm not sure we'll see those. So let's see what goes on with that. So I'm just going to put some water bubbles down, she says. My, it looks a bit thick. Anybody else got a problem with this? And they start off great, but then I think I've found that they go a bit stiff. And the blobs aren't so circular. I'm just going to put a couple down here and there. Hope that they sort themselves out. They look like those are going around there. You don't need loads. You won't see those anyway, even probably when they're dry. I've got some glitter. I thought about putting some glitter on, but I don't think I will. So I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can sort that out. But you may or may not see, but her the green on there is quite shiny, metallic, watercolour. Anyway, that's my page for watercolour. It says, follow your soul, it knows the way. And I shall be popping that in my art journal and uh, look forward to seeing some of your prompts. I've seen a couple already and um, look forward to seeing some more. So take care everyone, stay safe and well and I'll be back shortly because I've got some happy mail to share as well. So uh, in the meantime, enjoy the rest of the uh, sunny weather if you're in the UK. I don't know if anybody else had a massive storm last night. We did. Really loud thunder, massive Massive claps of thunder that rolled on for like a minute. Um, but and, and some rain, thankfully, but not that much. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Take care and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.